The most unexpected item in my bag is... Hi, I'm Julia Hart. I'm Bachava Hart. And I'm Miriam Hart. Are, Are you ready, ready to, to spill, spill it? So this is a Christian Dior bag. It has a lot of hearts on it. I love it because I'm obsessed with hearts. A, because of my name, and B, because I love love. What can I say? All right, are you ready to see what's in my bag? I'm excited. Here we go. Don't laugh, I know it's very, very large, but I get a really big aquaphor to carry in my bag, so this is a little more difficult to lose. Lip gloss is essential. Smart, actually. Thank you. Next, sunscreen. I am a sunscreen aficionado. I'm obsessed with sunscreen. Yeah. I always carry some with me, and my kids always know. No, to it's we never bring, because we know we can just yeah. take yours, so thank you. You don't want those True. wrinkles. I always have some eye drops because my son has really bad allergies, especially spring and summer. So just in case he's suffering, I have some allergy oh, medicine for him. The most unexpected item in my bag is Aww. this little guy. <laughs> this is my little guy, my good luck charm that was given to me by a dear friend and person who works with me in Paris. And she gave it to me as a good luck charm to show her appreciation of what we're building as a company and helping women become brands and empower them. He is my little good luck charm. I rub his head every morning. And it reminds me that I'm on a mission and that I have amazing people with me on this mission and we're gonna change the world together. And then last but not least, in case there are not enough hearts on my body, heart sunglasses. Uh, mother. What, did you do the same thing? I did actually. No. <laughs> oh, oh, they've got hearts on the ends, I yeah. guess. Yep. Come Back. on, we came represented. Yes, we did. These are my favorite sunglasses, and it's actually a funny story. I brought these with me to visit my girlfriend in Sweden. She lives by a lake, and she dove into the lake, and I was like, ooh, I'm gonna do it too and be super cool. And then I didn't realize I was still wearing my favorite sunglasses, oh, no. and then they fell off of my face into the lake. Lovely. Oh, yeah. That's and so sad, you get them back. So I bought them for myself again. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to ask you, but then I was like, no, I gotta buy these for myself. I love that. So this bag actually means a lot to me because after I started skateboarding, I would carry around a backpack that was super large that I love to this day too, that my mom got for me. It would just get so heavy and one time I fell off my skateboard and I banged my head and my backpack hit me in the head because it was so big. <laughs> and one day I was with my mom and we found this backpack and she got it for me. It's from Chanel and I just Aww. love the color and the brightness of it. It just shines positivity and so yeah, I'm super into it. This is my bag and it is Valentino. One of my favorite memories of my life is going to Paris Fashion Week with my mom. And one of the first shows we went to was Valentino, so this True. will have a very special place in my heart for it. Let's see, what do we have in here? My external charger, because I am a content creator, I am always working on my phone and my phone is always dying. So, if you ever need a charge, you can count on me. In my bag, I'm always carrying around Kind Bars because yeah. I get hungry. Will you share one after? Oh, yeah, definitely. I want one too. <laughs> Next up, we have my key to my apartment, and it's on this really special keychain of me and my husband. It's these photos when we were living in Israel like seven years ago. It was Hanukkah, and he ended up getting me this keychain with a picture Aww. of both of us. That's cute. You can see so it's, really, it's really old. Aww. Ben, my husband, has been called multiple times because I've left my handbag or my phone in restaurants and different places. He's the one who, when I'm leaving the store, he's like, um, did, are you forgetting anything? I'm like, I don't know, I'm good. And he's like, I was like, oh wow, thank you, that's why I love you. <laughs> my wallet. I never had a wallet before, and I would put my cards inside of this old hotel room card holder made out of paper. Like you know the, <laughs> like the hotel the Marriott card thing. hotel, yeah. And I used it for a long time, and it was like breaking and ripping, but it was still it did the job and it still worked. But then Bacheva made a lot of fun of me. I love you, <laughs> and she got me this wallet from Amazon, and you can like lift it up and push it down, and I really like it. And it's my wallet. Probably the best gift I've given anyone yeah. ever. <laughs> Next, we have my Bluetooth remote because obviously always need this with me if I ever need to take a photo or video content. 
It goes with my tripod that I carry around on my shoulder as well. What do I wish I could fit in my bag? That would definitely be my tripod. I right now just sling it over my shoulder and carry my handbag. So it'd be really nice if I could get one that collapsed small enough to fit in this little baby. And what's the name of your tripod again? Polly the tripod. I did an Instagram story poll and Polly was the winner. I have juggling balls because I love to juggle. Show us. Okay. Yeah, show us. Okay. Do it. So you just, you know. All right, baby, here she goes. <laughs> love it, Mare. It was a quarantine hobby I picked up. Next up, I have a little perfume, a little mm. tiny one. This Cutesy. is just a little tester, and it is a scent Prada Candy. A little while ago, I worked with a fragrance brand, and my husband and I were talking about it, and we were reminiscing that when we were first dating, we each had our own scent. He wore a Versace one, I wore Prada Candy. And then, like, the next day or two, he came home and ordered Aww. me all these little tester ones so I can keep them in my bag and refresh in so my scent. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Does he think you smell bad sometimes? Is yeah. that? No. <laughs> what the fudge is that? I have my computer. It's very important that my backpack can fit a computer because I build apps. And so, usually, yeah, all I need is a computer and I just start working on an app or designing or doing VR. I've definitely gone skateboarding with my computer open like this in New York City. Only once though, so Don't do not it so bad. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> so I was only supposed to do five items, but you know, you have to bring it. So <laughs> it is a mini vibrator. Oh, wow. <laughs> of course, Miriam. Yes, it's for emergencies. Very um, necessary. My other one's very big. Oh God, and so I don't, don't want to bring it around with me like when I travel. So this is my travel vibrator. <laughs> Love it. A bag is like anything else in fashion. And I think that what's exciting to me about fashion is that it's wearable art. It enables you to express yourself, to kind of share your version of yourself with the world and be creative and be unique and unusual. So that's why I love fashion is that we are all multifaceted. Our lives are multifaceted. Our clothes should represent that. That's all art stuff. Love it. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching our 29. To watch more videos, click here and click here to subscribe.